Welcome to exercise 6.4, encrypting a volume with BitLocker. As part of the Microsoft official academic course, administering Windows Server 2012 R2, in preparation for exam 70-411. In this exercise, you will create a new volume and then use BitLocker to encrypt the entire volume. EFS will encrypt only individual files. BitLocker can encrypt an entire volume. Therefore, if you want to encrypt an entire drive on a laptop, you can use BitLocker. The approximate completion time for this exercise is 10 minutes. So we're going to minimize this and we're going to start off in Server 02. So here's Server 02. And we're logged into Server 02 as Contoso slash administrator. Here we're going to go into the, we're already in Server Manager. And we want to click on Manage, Add Roles and Features, Next, Next, Next. Next, we're actually going to go into the features page for this, and we want to select Big Select BitLocker Drive Encryption, and then Add Features. Here we're going to click on Next, and then Install. Once this is done installing, we're going to need to reboot Server 2. Okay, we'll go ahead and click on close. <coughs> close out of this and let's go ahead and reboot. Okay, we're going to go ahead and log in as Contoso Administrator. And 
as soon as Server Manager comes up, we're going to click on Tools and go into Computer Management. I'll expand this. Expand this. All right, now we're going to expand the storage node. It already is. And click on Disk Management. And we're going to right click the C drive. <clears throat> and choose Shrink Volume. Here we're going to type in 3,000. Oops. Make sure your numlock is on. And we're going to click on shrink. Under disk zero, we're going to right click right click new simple volume next. 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 Next, and finish. And you'll see we have this format disk. We're just going to click on Cancel. Now we're going to click on the Start button. Right-click the Start button and go into the Control Panel. And now we're going to go into System and Security. And BitLocker Drive Encryption. And we're going to click on the down arrow next to the E drive. Which is right here. And turn on BitLocker. So we're going to click on there. Okay, on the choose how you want to unlock this drive, we want to select use a password to unlock the drive. And then we're going to use our password that we've been using. And then install. That leads to our next question, question 12. If you had a laptop, what chip would be used to create cryptographic keys encrypted so that they can only be decrypted by the chip? And that's going to be the Trusted Platform Module, or TPM.
All right, on how do you want to back up your recovery key? We're going to click save to a file option. And we are going to click on network. Oops. RWDC01 slash software there and then we'll go ahead and click on that next start encrypting Okay, if you're following along your lab manual and you're required to do so, this is where you would take your next screenshot. Now we'll go ahead and close out of the BitLocker drive encryption. And this is the end of this video and the end of this exercise.